Hello and welcome everyone. It is time to enter the Kumi Dam. Remember, this is not a sport. You don't play fight. Okay, guys, we have Robbie Lawler coming up against Brian Barbarena. This is a fight between two OGs. How could you not love both these guys? They always come to fight. Robbie is a former champion and has a very extensive career. He's been through a lot of wars and is sitting at the ripe old age of 40. Robbie Lawler still has that dog in him. He's just put it on a leash at this point. I will say that his career hasn't been looking too fresh lately. He's one in four out of his last five fights, only picking up the win over Nick Diaz, who is also a bit over the hill. Nevertheless, Lawler still has knockout power and has a pretty good chin, so I think he'll do just fine in a dogfight. Barbarain is more of a volume striker than a knockout artist anyway. Um, I honestly hope we see a good old-fashioned dogfight for this one. Brian Bam Bam Barbarena is slept on in that welterweight division. Uh, I don't think he'll necessarily ever be a champion. Ooh, I hate to say that. That sounds wrong. That sounds really bad. But he's fought the who's who in the division, and he's come out on top on, uh, of a good few of them. He recently got that decision win over Matt Brown. Man, that crowd pissed me off in that one, booing him the way that they did. This man deserves respect. He earns that respect every time he comes out to fight. But yeah, he lost that super close fight to Vicente Luque, getting TKO'd with six seconds left in the fight. He beat Worley Alves, Darian Weeks, Sage Northcutt. The dude almost knocked out Leon Edwards. His record doesn't really show how talented he is and how much of a gangster he is. I'm wondering who's gonna be the faster fighter in this one. Robbie's getting older, and everyone knows that speed is usually the first thing to go. He's definitely pretty fast and explosive still, though, but I feel that that speed is, is gonna decide who's gonna come out on top for this matchup. I don't see either fighter giving up, and I honestly don't see a finish for this one. So this fight is gonna be a lot of in-the-pocket exchanges, hand fighting, lead hooks for defense, Barbarina is really good at fighting the hands and pulling down the guard um, into elbows or straights or uppercuts. He's always working in the pocket, just touching you, giving you things to think about. Setting up the elbows, uppercuts, body shots. Lawler is a bit more explosive and can, and can explode over the top, accumulate damage to the body with his kicks. Both of these guys are offensive fighters, though, who like to control the pace. But I do see Barbarina being the one coming forward and initiating most of the exchanges. Lawler is going to look for those devastating shots while Barbarena will likely just be building on his combinations. Barbarena is one of those guys, similar to Luke Rockhold, that really rely on their pulling check lead hook. Um, they kind of spam it as soon as someone starts getting in their space or throwing anything, they pull. I see someone like Lawler and his team noticing that and maybe having a counter for it in their game plan, and maybe that will lead to a finish for him. The older Lawler gets, the better he is at stick sticking to a game plan and executing the game plan. This is a tough one to call, and it will probably be a blast. <laughs> it's probably be a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Both of these guys bring it every time they're out there. Ultimately, though, I'm going to go with Brian Bam Bam Barbarena via decision. I see Lawler's explosiveness and shot selection getting the better of the exchanges early. Then Barbarena just coming on stronger and stronger as the fight plays out. These guys are honestly kind of similar, but Barbarena has time on his side and will probably come into this fresh. I don't know where Lawler is at in his career. I will say that Lawler is in some hot water from his performances of late, so he may come out extra strong with something to prove so he doesn't get cut from the UFC. But... Yeah, I see Barbarina hand fighting a lot and finding the timing for his shots and building up those combos and, and earning points through volume. With that, I'll go ahead and wrap things up. If you like the content we're providing, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you disagree with our picks, make sure to berate us down in the comments below. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you can even follow me personally on Twitter. Remember, this is not a sport if you don't play fight.